Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 3. It's me, Cooper, and we now have two completed hearts with Chaz. But we are not done yet. I have made a brand new deck for today, and I do mean new, as in it's not going to be a bunch of warrior monsters this time, because, you know, I've kind of been able to build up my deck a little more. You know someone I have not seen? Where's Mindy? Where the hell? I see Jasmine. Where the hell is Mindy? Did she, did she get kicked out of Duel Academy? Is that what happened? She was too bad at dueling? After after the Spirit Caller Let's Plays, everyone was like, hell no. She'll never get good, so she's out. Yep, don't care if she's Alexis's friend. She's out. Alright, let's see. Oh, there she is. Okay, this is who I want to duel. Mindy, a duel, that's fine with me. So let's see if Mindy got any better since the GX Spirit Caller Let's Play. She was probably the worst duelist in that entire series, so... This will be interesting. She's letting me go first. A little overconfident if I do say so myself. But we'll see. Mindy number two versus my new deck, Dark Whispers. So, can the Dark Whispers defeat Mindy? Okay, so you only are friends with people that are a decent duelist. I am not the same. Oh, wow, I drew my union with my regular monster. That is kind of crazy. All right, I'm going to activate Mystic Plasmic Zone. And I'm going to summon the Dark Blade. And hopefully, he'll survive a turn, so that I can play my Pitch uh, Dark Dragon. And yes, that is my fusion monster, is the Pitch Dark Dragon. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, Mindy. Don't you dare do that. You are a bad person, Mindy. You are a bad, bad person, and you're gonna get heavy stormed. That's right, I ain't dealing with your bullcrap. Dark Blade, get back into attack mode, and guess what? You're gonna get an equip. Yes. You're gonna be equipped with the Pitch Dark Dragon. And now you're basically the fusion monster. You are the fusion monster, just without, you know, the fu being a fusion monster. And now I'm going to give you the Axe of Despair, making you all powerful. Ooh, yeah. I do piercing damage thanks to our union effect. Shiza to Mindy, you're taking a ton of damage. Yeah, this new Dark Whispers deck is going to be pretty interesting. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I drew Polymerization, really? I wasted the Axe of Despair. I mean, technically I did, I just won't fuse them, I'm just sad. I'm going to summon our Fusilar Dragon, since it has 14 under attack and that's still better. Alright, freaking Catnip Kitty, not bad. Too bad it's dead. And Fusilar Dragon go. So I could summon our fusion on the first turn. I mean, on our in our first duel. And the fusion is not our strongest monster. It's just a card I threw in there for fun. And since it was dark, it worked. But I don't even know if I want to use it. You know what? I'm, I'm curious. I at least want to show it off in the first duel. I, I'm going to resummon you. I'm going to activate Polymerization. To summon my Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. By getting rid of these two monsters, I get to summon them. There we go. And now I'm going to summon our giant orc. I don't know. Oh, the Axe of Despair, right? I don't care about that. Go ahead, Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. You go first. What the hell is the monster? Okay, you can't use its effect if you're dead. And boop. That was easy! <laughs> Mindy is not any better than I remember, so that sucks for her. Not bad, you're pretty good. Well, of course we won. Cooper, don't let it get to your head. Don't worry about it, Chaz. It's already in my head. Terrence, a Sliper Red student I haven't dueled yet. What the hell? Where have you been hiding, Terrence? Alright, let me go ahead and get some scissors. Oh my god, perfect. Since we don't know what kind of opponent Terrence is going to be, we got to be we got to keep our guard up. Dark Whispers is a good deck, I hope. I feel like it was a good deck. That that duel with Mindy made me feel like it's good. So let's find out. Ooh, I drew my ooh, I drew two part. Okay. When this card distributes seven move from play. Yeah, great card. This card, great later. This card, great later. Not now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon the Witch's Apprentice to bait out a monster. And then if he summons a monster, I'll widespread ruin him. 
So he's got his own fusion monsters. No, that's a good monster. It's a monster I power up, but it's just a good monster in general. In some Yu-Gi-Oh games, like the Dawn of Destiny, which I did recently, uh, it was like one of the best cards in the game. Alright, so I could summon you, but, uh, yeah. I'm just going to choose to from play one card on the field. If it was a dark monster... Oh, it says one card, so it could be a spell or trap as well. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. Boop. No. I remove from play... What the hell? A ritual card. So he's got a ritual monster, level 4 in his deck. But now he's not going to be able to summon it, so goodbye. Good job, Caius, the Shadow Monarch. That's probably not how I pronounce your name, but I don't care. It's probably supposed to sound like Chaos. Alright, you can be in defense mode all you want. Ah, oh, polymerization. Nothing useful here. I summon my Chaos Necromancer. Yeah, I know, it only has 300 attack points, but that's exactly why I summoned him. Whoa! Look at you with your big old stats. If he summons another big monster, I'll just use my uh, bottomless trap hole. I just gotta hope it's big enough. That's big enough for me! Bottomless trap hole. Ah, oh, my deck removes some probably of quite a few monsters, huh? Or cards. There we go. And the Dark Blade! Only half of the fusion that I need. But it'll have to do. If I could top deck the freaking Dragon card, that'd be amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. Because this guy's got one more turn in him. And I was able to summon one of my other boss monsters, Mr. Shadow Monarch here. Who is stronger than my fusion, but then there's this boss monster, Dark Nef... Nef... Blah, blah, who is stronger... Oh, is this, as strong as my Chaos guy. And then there's actually one more. Oh wait, the Fuseler Dragon also has 2800 attack, so I guess him too. But there's one more other than them. Alright, did not get my fusion this time. I guess I could just straight up summon you, huh? I don't have to use your effect. Eh, I don't want to. Yeah, activate Axe of Despair. Give it to the Dark Blade. He's gonna not use that blade anymore. Instead, he's gonna use this. Boop. And so this guy just has a really strong beat deck down. Uh, deck. Beat down deck, sorry. <laughs> Beat deck down. <laughs> English go bad. So we defeated Terrence. Huh, I'm all out of LP. Let's duel again. Yeah, he had a level 5 deck and we beat him that easily? Holy crap. This Dark Whispers deck is working out. Uh, let's head over to... Let's go to the cliff this late at night. See what we can find. We got some students here, just chilling out. Uh, got some Slifer Red students, just chilling. I got Deloge here, defeated him. Celia, not even gonna get near her. Alright, let's get out of here, it's bedtime. Don't worry, Chaz, I'm not gonna make you miss your bedtime. Hey, Cooper. You can now edit your partner's deck. Oh! Oh, thank the Lord! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Yes! I would love to edit my partner's deck. So, I can give him any of these cards. He's got those cards, that's good. Um... You're, you're not using magical hats anyway, so no. You don't get to keep that. Um... Monster of Born is good. I wish I had Monster of Born. Morphing Jar is good. You need all your Ojamas, I'll give you that. This Ojama da, da whatever is amazing. I'll let you keep your pride shouts, symbols of duty. Oh, I have to take something out though. I keep keep using some of these cards wrong. I don't even use your magical mallet, honestly. Okay, we don't need three dimensional walls if I'm being honest. Card trader's fun, but we don't need it. Let's give you let's give you something else. All right, let's uh, let's give you. It's the best spell card I can give you for your deck, at least. Well, actually, you know what I should do? I should type in um. One second. Let's go here, and then let's just straight up type in Ojama, just so that we can help him out. Of course, he only gets to use the cards that I happen to own, 
so yeah. I'm glad it lets me change my, my partner's deck this early. That is really good. Ojama. Alright, what kind of Ojama cards do I have that can help you? No, it's not good. Alright, never mind. We're kind of screwed here. I got nothing for... Nothing for him. Uh, let me just reset this. And let me narrow search. What's a limited card that could be good for him? Something he would actually use that he doesn't already have. Do you have Mirror Force? Okay, you have Mirror Force. It's good. Hmm. You have Toriental Tribute. You already have Ojama Trio. Should have put Morphing Jar on my deck. You already have Monster Born. You could use something else. <laughs> I don't know why, but yes, that is his new card. Yes, I probably made Chaz's deck worse. I don't care. Okay, everybody at home, leave me alone. I'll, I'll change his deck again when I feel like it. Probably off screen. The Frontier Wiseman. Since when? Since when has he been there? He's one of the fusion materials I needed. All right, Ivan and Kenyu. I miss you, Kenyu. All right, Cherry and Dean. Nah, they're all too powerful. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Somewhere where the power levels are low. Probably at the main gate of the school. Probably be some low power levels around here, right? Oh, a card. What the hell? Paths of Destiny. Cool. Why did I miss that card before? Was someone, like, stepping on it? We got Hayden and Bonji. Who's that over there? Who are you? I right, somebody we haven't dueled yet. Alright. I don't even care who your partner is. We're doing a tag duel. Alright, better not be like a really strong student though. Let's find out. I go with scissors. I love it. Slifer Reds always pick paper. They suck. Alright, who are you teaming up with? Walter. Okay, two Slifer Reds versus Chiaz and me. Alright, he's got two O-Jams. Not the strongest cards in the game, but they'll work. Upstart Goblin, thank you for the life points. Well, that's not good. He's going to take away our life points. Okay. But yeah, I go in defense mode. And we got the Pride Chow. That's what I like to see. Alright, well... Don't have the best hand at the moment, but I do have a, a good enough one. I'm going to summon... Wall of Illusions. I'm going to flip Ojama Green. And we got our dark and light decks working together. While Illusions will do some damage, or Pride Child will let Ojama Green do some damage. In worst case scenario, no, there is no, I have no way of coming back. He's going to lose it. He's, we're probably going to lose Ojama, but that's fine. Premature Bear. Oh god, we might lose both our monsters. You know what? No. I don't want to lose that many life points. Plus they could tribute, so I'm not risking that. Well, hello there, weird looking monster. That's going right back to the hand. Interesting. Oh, we got to keep the Ojama. Maybe that'll keep, that'll keep my friend here happy. Ah, uh, now we have the goblins. And now we don't. Oh, that was something. I hope, I hope Chaz is smart enough to use swords. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, his AI is... Oh boy, this guy has all the goblins. Oh, see, Chaz, that's when you would have used swords, and this wouldn't have been a problem. But you didn't choose that route. You chose a different route. The route you chose was the bad route. Um, you could summon Giant Orc, and then it'd become a problem. Here, I'm going to summon the Spirit Reaper. We're going to take some damage, but Chaz should be smart enough to put it in defense mode. Oh, okay, Book of Eclipse means we get to, uh, we get to draw a card, I think. Yep. It's a Plasmic Zone. Shit. That counts as a reset for Goblin Attack Force. But Spirit Reaper can't be destroyed, so it's all fine. Double Pride Shout. That's good. That's real good. Put the other Pride... Oh, shit. 
All right, good. Damn it! All it did was resummon it. And then what are you gonna do? I we're tied in this duel. It's actually a pretty close one for Slifer Reds, but they're using really weird decks, like cards I would never see or have never seen. All right, well, could just go straight up with Jinzo, but then I ruin our pride shouts. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with this. I activate this card. Then I'm going to summon the giant orc. The only thing stronger than goblin attack force. Then I'm going to flip a Jama Green. And we're gonna get to work here. Wait, if monster with zero attack receives a direct attack, inflict damage, defense points, got it. So I can't even use Ojama Green yet. That was a mistake on my part. And then... In phase two. Let's, uh... Let's give them... Our giant orc. And we get... Hey! Coach Goblin! That's funny. That's actually funny. Alright. Funny. Let's see what they do do to us. Yeah, they're stuck with the same thing. Oh, flip effect immediately. Well, shit. It should be fine. As long as uh, he draws a monster. He did not draw a monster. Good play. Got rid of my orc before it became a problem. Well, that sucks, the reptile effect. I'm surprised he didn't aim at Spirit Reaper with that. Given that he can't kill Spirit Reaper. I guess he was more afraid of the Ojamas, which I think is hilarious. Alright. Do I have enough now for your effect? There are three or more Dark Monsters in your graveyard. Do I not have three or more? One. Two. Oh, just two. Okay. Fair enough. I guess I could... Yeah. It's over. I summon Jinzo. I activate my effect. I'm gonna remove from play my giant orc and you. And then you're going to the graveyard for a small amount of time. Don't worry, not too long. And then Jinzo with your 2,900 attack points and the ability to stop trap cards. We should win the duel. Unless they somehow steal you, but I'm assuming they can't. Don't worry, Chaz, we'll get them. And he got my Dark Nif, blah, blah, blah. I'm glad he did. Boop, no reason to, but card destruction, do it. No, card destruction's good. And they're almost dead. Yeah, this Dark Whispers deck is really working out. And I still haven't drawn one of my most powerful boss, well, most useful boss monsters that's in this deck. It's not that one, but that technically could fuse with that one, so that's kind of funny. I'm going to summon the Dark Heal, whatever. And we're going to go ahead and try to win the duel. It looks like it's over, everybody. And that's game. Good try. Chaz, you're unbeatable. Didn't win to our, during our opponent's turn, but whatever. That might happen some other time. Yeah, don't let it get to our head. I won't. What the hell is this? Book of Moon? Oh, shit! When did I... I thought I could have swore... Okay, Degenerate Circuit. What the hell? It's just good cards over here? Soul Taker? Reversal Quiz? That, that, that one, not so much. Dangerous Machine Type 6? Alright, wherever I can't see myself, I need to, like, walk. Like, right down here? Nothing? Nothing? Alright, we gotta, like, watch ourselves, everybody. Let's go ahead and just go to the map. I've decided I'm not going to go to class because my deck's kind of bad for it. Even the dark one that I just made is kind of bad for it. We're just going to take advantage of this time to go get some cards that are on the field. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, we got one of the six Sams. And even though I know class is out and I should never go to the Chancellor's office when class is out, we're going to the Chancellor's office while class is out. And just uh, sneak in and take this uh, Iroh card. Eh, Chancellor wasn't here to see us sneaking in anyway. The school has terrible security. And you know what? We didn't make as much money today, but we did good. So we're going to head over to the store, and we're going to buy some cards. I would love some cards, Dorothy. Alright. Give me some wing cards today. 
Very good, Dorothy. And now that we can edit Chaz's deck, I need all of his cards. All of his cards. Yes. And you know what? We still got 50 bucks left. I still want brain control. Well, yeah, I still want brain control. If I can get it, that'd be great. Nope, back to square one. Cybertech Alligator, pretty good card. Baby Dragon. Spell Counselor, pretty good card. Wing Sage Falcos, what the hell? Got the Alligator Sword Dragon now. Princess of Sarugi. I'm Dragon Level 3, alright, we just need one more of those. And then sadly, we're missing level 5. It might be one of the super rares. XYZ. Okay, I'm glad we have two of those now. Ojama Dala. All right. Level up. All right. I like it. Roll out. It's not really what I need. No. All right. Well, we got some good cards today. Let me uh, show you all. Rarity wise, spell counselor, great. Ojamadala, great. Uh, Wing Sage Falco, so you can return your opponent's face up to the monster that is sent to the graveyard by this monster as a result of battle to the top of his deck. Interesting loop I can probably do with that. Level up is always good to have more of than one of. Roll out, I love. Yeah, this is good. This is good. And we got more armed dragons. That's good. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to move on. Now that we have this new powerful uh, Dark Whispers deck, I might take on more powerful opponents. So get ready for that. Bye-bye.